Kia ora, merry Monday morning. I'm Mike from Markets. This is Kiwi Bank Markets in a minute and a bit probably. Yeah, okay, uh, this morning, look, I'm just going to talk and we'll see where the verbal river takes us. Yeah, I made some bullet points. It, it'll be fine. Okay, so uh, global equities, mild to modest gains across Asia and Europe. Uh, mild negative skew for the US, uh, that US outcome looks to be the result of conflicting drivers. So, uh, 10-year Treasury bond yields, they continue the September surge on Friday, hitting 1.9%, highest level since early August. That's an equity price negative. Yeah, uh, but we had data on the scent, uh, retail sales and consumer sentiment survey. They were pretty all right from a headline level, uh, headline level perspective. Uh, so an almost offsetting equity price positive. Yeah, uh, that move higher in US rates uh, was in part fueled by US China trade talk positivity. It's ongoing. Uh, and that contributed to making the US dollar more attractive. And that contributed to the New Zealand dollar breaking below 64 US cents, the bottom of last week's trading range. Yeah, also helping the Kiwi lower was the pound. So hopes that a no deal Brexit uh, will be avoided. Yeah, they keep on elevating that sterling. Best performing currency of the weekend by a long, long way. Uh, sell anything by pounds. That seems to be the weekend trading strategy. And the, the Kiwi, that's an anything. Uh, so on the Kiwi sterling cross, uh, yeah, a lower New Zealand dollar, a higher, much higher uh, Great British pound. That's all Kiwi pound plunge, testing the 51 pence level for the first time since May. Yeah, we might look at that in first hand a little more. Commodities, not a lot going on pre-close, but post-close events are going to make for a wild ride today, especially in oil. Uh, so Saudi Arabia, they were a the victim of a targeted drone attack on Sunday, uh, estimated to have taken down half of uh, Saudi Arabia's oil production capability, or about 5% of global supply. Iran are being blamed by some, so two upward price drivers here for oil, Middle Eastern geopolitical tensions, and massively reduced supply. That last one, that's the real kicker. So a barrel of Brent was hovering around the $60 mark on Friday. You can probably expect a big jump this morning. So if you didn't fill up over the weekend, yeah, this this morning may hurt. Uh, right, that is the meat and potatoes of what was a pretty big weekend, really. Uh, and we have a pretty big week ahead. Kiwi Economics, they will be previewing that in first view out a little later this morning. I have talked enough, so um, happy Monday. Kaikite.